everybody, my name is Ruben Kupman. I'm the head chef and uh, director of hospitality at Frogmore Creek, Tasmania. For me and the whole team at Frogmore, it's much more about, not only about the, our brand, Frogmore Creek, but much more of Tasmania needs, you know, stages where it can showcase what it has. We're really super, super blessed to have people say like, we came to Tasmania, we wanted to go to Mona, we wanted to go to Peppermint Bay, and we wanted to go to the Salamanca Market, and we wanted to go to Frogmore Creek. I mean, for us, that's like a super big compliment. Now we do about like anywhere between 80 to 100 guests uh, for, per lunch service, seven days a week. We use a lot of technology in our kitchen and we use as much technology as we can in the front of the house. Our dishes and our style of food is a lot of presentation, a lot of eye to detail. And for us to be able to do that, we need equipment and technology to help us out on this side so we can focus more on this side, which is more towards the guests. I think we've always been searching for a machine that provides everything we need and one of my biggest concerns with the glass washers we had is that the, the, the cleaning cycles were at 100% um, the time consumed with staff waiting for glasses to come through then having to polish just something that was really easy to use almost bulletproof so all we do is just press a button one day Ruben just came into the into this new showroom and had a coffee and said this looked great and that started a conversation about where he'd been let down with suppliers in the past and you can start to understand what were his frustrations which helped me to understand well, what do we need to get better at as a business and as an industry. Instead of Brett repeating the talk that I already had with the team he said like why don't we put this make or glass washer in and give it a go. Put it in for a month, two months and trial it with the RO unit and a couple of our vineyards and restaurants down there, we could really see some opportunity where they could save some labour. So one of our hardest things in all our businesses is labour. It costs us a fortune. So if there's a way that someone can save some labour there um, and they can see a good return on investment on their piece of equipment, um, that, was, that was really encouraging to us. I mean, it's a, it's a really attractive machine. It sounds a bit weird, but I mean, everything needs to, in my opinion, it needs to look good as well. Our initial thoughts were that we really liked the premium machines. So they weren't just a standard dishwasher. The concept of reverse osmosis and like not being, not having to polish, I don't know how many, how much um, savings and not breaking glasses, less time, less cost in casual stuff. I mean, I didn't have to buy that because I already experienced it. So we don't have to polish cutlery anymore, it just goes straight out, dries and into the, the cabinet. So that's been a huge saving of time, but it does allow the staff to get on the things that are really important and that's interacting with guests and making sure that they're, they're happy. Now for the guys to experience Mako and this glass washing machine and the reverse osmosis, I mean, it's, an, it's really, it sounds corny, but it's really a no-brainer. Given the fact that it's so versatile, it can do glassware and cutlery, um, yeah, without any question. It's still far superior than anything else that we've been using here.